I'm, I'm here like uh, we all are to pay tribute to the brave people who put their lives at risk and some who lost their lives on that convoy. And that's a terrific act of heroism and history will remember them. The, I, I just want to make two brief points. You may have missed the story that broke in this last few days, how Israel was wanting to sell nuclear weapons to South Africa yes. in its apartheid days. Well, maybe it's not so surprising. One apartheid state supports another. And I think, I think we should also remember that we're here and the flotilla was there because of the failure of our politicians. They are not doing what they should be doing, which is upholding international law. That's really all we need them to do. End the illegal blockade. End, pull down the illegal war. Kick out the illegal settlements. Let's have international law. If we don't have, live by international law, we are in the jungle. We need international law and we need our government to respect international law and make a start in Palestine. And the second, point, the second point I'd like to make is that we haven't heard a fair representation of what has been happening through the television and on the radio. The coverage of this, uh, of this event and of the whole Palestinian-Israeli struggle is an absolute disgrace. And first of all, first of all, we must put in the dock the BBC. Their coverage is pro-Israeli, it is sycophantic, it follows the Americans, and we demand an independent voice, an independent judgment from the BBC and the other broadcasters. I'll give you one, I'll give you one short example. You, every day of the week you can hear it, but this morning on the Today programme, there was a, repo, a report by an independent the supreme independent international body, the United Nations, United Nations spokesman, talked of the conditions of the people in Gaza. So we should have two responses, one Palestinian, one Israeli. Wrong. Only the Israeli gets a voice. Only the Israeli. And this, this is a travesty of the uh, supposed independence of the BBC. It is a, dis it is a disgrace to our national broadcaster, and we demand fair representation. Finally, finally, may I say that now I look forward to action. Action from the Palace of Varieties there and the squatters in number 10.